Hi everybody, my name is Joe King Cannon, and this is a follow-up to the Creedmoor Civic Association meeting uh, uh, last night in uh, in June. All right, so uh, this is our rain barrel uh, that we got from uh, DEP. Uh, DEP is giving this out uh, via all of the elected officials, uh, uh, state senators, state assembly, and city council people. Uh, so if you want one, that's where you go. You go to your elected officials, and they'll arrange a date, and uh, you can get your, your rain barrel. I wanted to p point out a couple of things to you. If you look to the bottom of the barrel, uh, it is uh, that's where the spigot is. And if you look at the very top of it, and I'll point to it, right there is where you can see the on-off spigot, and right there is where... Uh, there's a, a, a threaded end for a hose uh, to go in. Uh, up here is the top, and there's about a one-inch lid on the top uh, where water can gather, so you've got to keep that cleaned out. Uh, the overall size of the rain barrel is uh, about three feet tall. Uh, you can see that, all right? Um, and it is about two feet wide. So you need to make that kind of space. If you can also see, I'll, I'll bend the camera a little bit, uh, although I think you had a pretty good view of it. Uh, you can see that I put a milk crate underneath it, and that milk crate stands about one foot high. So you can see that as well. Uh, that's to give you enough room to put a bucket underneath that if you want to, uh, to get your water. I'm gonna pick the camera up now, and I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a journey. And you can see this. Uh, this is the connection. Uh, I had to cut the leader here. This is aluminum. It's very sharp. Be careful. Uh, and then I duct taped around it to make sure it was good and sealed. This piece here is the connector the DEP gives you. Uh, and uh, of course you connect that again at the, at the other end, right down there. You can see I've got that uh, nicely uh, put together over there so nothing, no sharp edges and uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, have a good seal on that as well. Uh, on the flex line here, this flex line, this is given to you by DEP and then they give you this white wrapper. And inside I had to put a clamp on that end and then I put another clamp on the other end here. This, this black piece, this T, it's a T. This is the opening and then this, this end over here has a cap on it. You can see that cap. And then this is a pressure fitting. You just push that in, uh, and that's basically your uh, your rain barrel. All right. Two drawbacks that I can see from this. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera back down here. Hopefully it's not rocking too much on you. All right. Uh, two drawbacks I see. There's no way to tell how much water is in here. So you know they don't have a one foot line or a two foot line, and then you know like a. Uh, a transparent piece in here so you can kind of see uh, uh, how the water is gathering in there. That you don't have and then of course the other negative piece is the gathering of the water on the top. There's no way for that water to get out of there since that's a pretty secure fit. Um, you can go to uh, rainbarrelfundraising.com uh, uh, that's the name of the company that is, is putting this out there. Uh, www.rainbarrelfundraising.com and uh, you can also search on YouTube if, uh, if you're looking for uh, a video uh, go on to YouTube and uh, search on the rain barrel that's where I found it and there were all sorts of different suggestions and different things to do there as well alright that's your video wanted to make it quick and uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope it's informative to you three feet two feet and then just pick out your area where you where you need to go. Alrighty? Bye now.